I recently reported an 18-year-old man who was chronically putting something into his lungs that he shouldn't have been putting into his lungs. The fumes breathed in get into the bloodstream, and the main toxic chemical gets broken down by the liver, and that metabolite creates electrolyte disturbances in the body by interacting with the kidney, and those disturbances can then dissolve muscle proteins and shut down the kidneys. But more commonly, we know this stuff causes permanent brain damage. Interestingly, on head MRI scans, paint thinner misuse often has a pattern. The sequence makes fat and water appear bright on the image, but what's darker here shouldn't be dark. These are the thalami, which relay sensory information in the brain. These are the globi pallidi, which help regulate movement, which is impaired in chronic paint misuse. The reason why these are dark on the skin could be because the accumulation of iron, and it may be one mechanism of possibly many indicating permanent brain damage in this setting.